So this part of the video will look at the meaning of uh, limit in calculus. And um, the situation is like this. You are basically given any function f of x. And um, by limit, I'm talking about the following concept. If x approaches a point, you can call it a value, let's say a. So x is approaching certain point a, then what value does the function f of x approach? So um, look at this sentence. Uh, look at this sentence. I'm not using any abstract mathematical notation, uh, but you can look at the words. Please check what I'm talking about. We are looking at the value um, such that um, this is the value where the function f of x is approaching. And um, let's look at an example. Let's look at an example. So um, I would like to put in an example here. For example, let me give you a function like um, x plus 5. It's something very simple. So uh, it's really just the first example. So um, I would like to ask the following problem like this. So um, if x approaches 2, then what value does f of x approach? Um, actually, this problem um, is actually quite interesting depending on the function f. And maybe in the later videos, uh, we'll look at more advanced methods to find the uh, limits um, to, to any problem uh, depending on the function of f of x. But um, let's look at the current problem. So um, to de determine this, uh, please look at the first principle of this problem. You see, x approaches 2 means what? Uh, there are a couple of ways to understand this. Uh, the typical way is maybe we can talk about this change of x. For example, you can choose x equals 1.9. You can choose x equals 1.99. You can choose x equals 1.999. So um, why am I choosing these values? Because as you can see, if I keep going on on this pattern of the values I chose for the x, uh, this value is getting closer and closer to 2, right? And um, now, because I'm asking what value um, does uh, function f of x approach, so um, we can actually do this calculation. f of 1.9 uh, would be 1.9 plus 5 is 6.9. And similarly, you can do the remaining. So it's going to be 6.99 for the second one. The last one is going to be uh, 6.999. Uh, please look at the change of the values depending on the f of x, right? Um, but for this particular case, you see, when x is approaching 2, these values, um, I think the educated guess is that this value is actually approaching 7, right? Um, so uh, we can maybe at this point claim that the function f of x in this case um, is approaching 7 when x is approaching 2. Uh, because I think it's quite obvious um, the pattern of values we have is actually approaching 7. But if you think more carefully, there's another way to approach the point 2. Because I can choose values. All of these are bigger than 2, right? I mean, I can choose 2.1 instead. Uh, that's the starting point. I can choose something even closer to 2 for the second point. And the last point, maybe I can choose 2.001. So you see, if you think of it like this, uh, let's look at what value does f approach when x is approaching 2. Uh, by choosing the value 2.1, 2.01, and etc. So I think uh, now we can do the calculation. This is 27.1 for the first value. Second value is going to be 7.01. For the last value, it's going to be 7.001, right? So if you look at this trend of, trend of values, as you can see, it is actually approaching 7 again when x is approaching 2. So uh, I present two ways of uh, approaching 2 uh, for this problem. And as you can see, uh, for both answers, both answers, they are seven. And it looks like we can easily claim that. We can easily claim that if x approaches two, then f of x will approach seven. So um, this method to work out um, the question I'm asking um, at the top of the page um, is called approximation so you can think of this method as approximation so a method by approximation so it's kind of give you a hint at what's happening to the to the concept of limits uh, I'm not uh, let's be precise about that I'm not asking you 
um, what is the value f of 2? I'm not asking that. I'm asking when x is approaching certain point, what value does f approach? So it is a different problem um, to the problem um, of when x is 2, what is the value of f of x? They are not the same. Uh, it looks like for quite many functions f, the value is the same. So um, let me put it here as a hint, as a hint, as a hint. So as a hint, it looks like at least for this particular example, we can replace x equals 2. We can look at the value f of 2, which is 2 plus 5, which is 7, right? So if you think of it this way, we get the same answer. But um, unfortunately, the problem is not as simple as that. Um, we'll see some examples of f next. But um, let me just give you in this first video of the topic of limits um, the mathematical notation for all of these I've talked about. So uh, now. Um, let's look at this notation. The notation is that uh, for the question I'm asking at the top of the page, the notation is like this. So uh, please stick with this notation from now on. This notation means what? This notation basically means if x approaches a, what value does the function f of x approach? So please look at this problem. Um, that's essentially um, the question I'm asking at the top of the page, and I've presented one easy example for you to know. But essentially, uh, to put the things precisely in mathematical language, um, that's the starting point of the topic of limit. Uh, this notation is usually the one we use uh, to look at the value, uh, what f of x is approaching uh, when x is approaching the point A. So. Um, in the next couple of videos, we'll look at more examples and more methods to solve this problem.